Earlier tonight, America watched our next guest meet 30 beautiful women, kiss seven of them, dump 10 of them, and get licked behind the ear once. Please welcome our newest bachelor, Zach Shalcross. <laughs> Well, it's good to meet you. Congratulations, nice to meet you. I guess. Is that what we would say? I think so. Okay. Congrats on 20 years, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I know that I was informed of something kind of interesting. This is not your first time here at the show. No, this is actually my second time. First time I was here a couple of years ago with one of my good friends. Um, actually, one of the producers in your show. Mm-hmm. Got me some pretty cool seats. You, uh... You... Top left corner, right up there. Oh, were you way in the back? Yeah. <laughs> Little nosebleedy. We should put a plaque. The Bachelor once sat here in the Bachelor seat. <laughs> this is a photo you took uh, backstage, and uh, you, boy, you look very different there. How long ago was this? Great question. You three years know. ago? Yeah. Oh, three years ago. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh boy, they cleaned you up for this Bachelor, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> you look like me on the way into work in that picture. So um, you were on the Bachelorette. You were in the top three. <laughs> um, then you, what, you like, you, re, you, you kicked yourself out of the show, right? Kind of. Kind yeah. of. After the fantasy suite. Yes, yeah. Was it in the fantasy suite when you decided you no longer wanted to be on the show? Uh, yeah, it's, absolutely. What happened in there? It's a great question. What do Something you think Something weird? Happened? Yeah, what do you think happened? I think you soiled the bed. And, uh... <laughs> And you said, you know what, I gotta get out of here now. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, uh, something along those lines. Yeah, yeah something yeah, we'll like that. that. We'll just keep it at that. We'll just keep it at that. And uh, oh, this is good too. Your uncle oh, is yes. Patrick Warburton, who played Putty on Seinfeld and The Tick and all so many other things. So you have like show business in your blood, kind of. A little bit. I mean, it's Kronk. Everyone loves Kronk, remembers mm -hmm. the groove. and. He had a lot of advice and, and support for me. So. Did he give you advice? What did he Interestingly say? Interestingly enough, like, only a little bit, because he's like, dude, this world of reality TV is another beast. Uh -huh. And he was beyond shocked, because he was a part of it a little bit last season. Was um, he happy like, that you were on the show? Mm. Not that happy? Yeah. <laughs> he's supportive, I'll just say that. Okay, say that. all right. Now, yeah. how did the, the whole Putty family react to you being on The Bachelor? The whole Putty family and my family all found out at the same time I did, actually. So there was the live finale. Oh. And they did the announcement. Oh, you really? That was real, where you found out you were going to be The Bachelor live there. Like, moments before was it confirmed. So I had just pure shock. My family was like, oh, my God, it's actually happening. Do they ask you beforehand, hey, if we pick you, will you be? <laughs> or is it just like, you're The Bachelor. Go. It's more like that. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. They just assumed because you're there that you would accept being the bachelor. Yeah, like there was a, a good chance of it and, and you know, uh, a couple conversations. And, you know, I thought, you know, it would be a great opportunity and, and ready for love again. Uh huh. And uh, my family's been super excited, but my sisters have kind of lost their, their interest in the bachelor. Well, because you're on it? So they've been diehard fans for years. And once they learned, Oh, wait, I'm going to have to watch my brother be the one in the hot tub. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> so they won't watch. That's understandable, I think. Um, by the way, one of our producers has a theory, Laura, that, um, that The Bachelor is a, a cult. And um, <laughs> she printed out a list for me of uh -oh. the characteristics of a cult. I want you to tell me um, if, any, <laughs> if you, any of these apply. Sleep deprivation. Members must stay awake for extended periods of time. Correct. Check. Charismatic leader, that would be you. Members are zealous, protective, and unquestionably committed to a living, charismatic leader. Sure. Check. <laughs> Cohabitation, members are encouraged or required to live and socialize with other group members. Absolutely, check. Isolation, members experience physical separation from their family, friends, and society. Absolutely. Check. <laughs> Games. Games with obscure rules are introduced. <laughs> check <-a> Yeah. <laughs> Love bombing, creating a sense of belonging through hugging, kissing, touching, and flattery. That's like There's a, a bit of love bombing. Whole friggin' a show. Bit. A little bit. And finally, common goal. The group claims to pursue a common goal, which in this case is like getting a ring from you. 
The right reasons. Yeah. This is a cult that we're airing on television, <laughs> on, on the Disney-owned television network. <laughs> and you're their David Koresh. I have news for you. <laughs> so is it overwhelming when you're presented with 30 women who are all suddenly hot for you without ever having met you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was a shock. And, you know, at the live finale, I actually met five of them. Uh -huh. And... I forgot everyone's name. You did, yeah. I would do that too. Like, just lost everything. Like, it was terrifying. Do you remember the names of all 30 of the women who were on the show with you? You know, it was so scarring at the live finale that I didn't mess up a name again throughout the entire season. So if I were to put up all 30 of the women, <laughs> and one of them, I'm not gonna ask you to name them because that's ridiculous, but if one of them wasn't one of the bachelorettes would you be able to find that woman absolutely yeah. okay yeah, yeah. put it up on the wall there they are will you uh, maybe you want to walk, walk back there? so yeah. you can look at it closely and examine and uh, just kind of figure out if um, somebody looks unfamiliar to you <laughs> and by the way we're all hoping you get it wrong Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I promise we didn't screw around. There's one person who is not on You're the lying. show. I'm not lying, I promise. <laughs> Jimmy, don't do this. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm just right here. Yeah. That's the one? That's the one. Well. Right? He, as a matter of fact, yes, that's a member of our studio audience tonight. We asked her to take a picture and we suck her off. All right, well, that's good. That's got to be a relief. <laughs> Did you find love? Did you find the one, the woman of your dreams? Mm. You You're can't say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I'm going to say the odds are no. I'll tell you this. I, I found love. I did. You did? I found love, absolutely. You found love. What does that mean, you found love? You're going to have to see okay. what that looks like. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see, I guess. Uh, <laughs> the Bachelor, you watch it. See if um, Zach is indeed telling the truth about finding love. Money Nights here. They lie a lot, by the way. Money Nights <laughs> on ABC. They're cult leaders. They're programmed to lie. <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Zach Shawcross, everybody. We'll be back with Lucas Graham.